sort of had a bits and pieces pre-season, which due to no fault but our own really. And um, so we're last 20 minutes and that, we're not getting to places where we could be stopping shots, stopping crosses and that. And it just puts us back and back apart, which isn't great. But as you say, we've got 11 days to a couple of training sessions, another game against East Fife on Saturday to make sure we're ready to go and for, for it. It's, I feel like all the boys have got a baseline fitness now. It's just, obviously we've not training very often, just our sharpness over five yards and that, getting to stop crosses or create chances for ourselves. It just, it's going to come, hopefully, in a couple more training sessions next week, one on Thursday, and we'll be ready to go. From your own personal point of view, how are you feeling sharp and ready to go? Yeah, I'm feeling all right. Obviously, as, you, as I've said, we're only, we've trained twice as a squad together this season, so it's not been anything, even myself, I feel as if <laughs> over five, ten yards, just turning and all that, I need to maybe do a bit more extra work to get there and get ready. Yeah, with the pre-season we've had, it was all about getting minutes in the race for all the boys, but still wanting to go out and put on a good performances and not do anything stupid in the cup, which leads to negativity getting into the season, so... I feel like, obviously, it's not been positive results, but there's been big positives to take away from each of the games. Definitely. You've got, obviously, guys like you and Spark and Brian Cameron missing tonight as well, which, you know, is a, a big hindrance as well, because they're, they're two key players to the side, aren't they? Yeah, we've said that, obviously. Um, Soapy and Sparky are two massive influences in the team, and uh, we missed them out there tonight. Soaps gets up the park, and obviously Sparky just drives us on from the back. So they are misses, but they'll hopefully be back come the start of the season and we'll all be ready to go. We know that Kelty, you know, coming up from the Lowland League, we're always going to be a strong side. They've uh, recruited pretty substantially and they've shown tonight that they're going to be a, a real front runner in League 2, I think. Yeah, we know that um, playing Kelty, they're going to be, they've got good players and they're going to dominate the ball sometimes. But I feel if we're playing our game, and, uh, obviously on the counter attack, we can hit them with Kane's pace there. We can get at them as well, obviously they can dominate us. but. I feel they're there for the taking for us too. Yeah, again, it's a League 2 season where there's very little to call between the teams and it's it's going to be a tough, tough old grind over 36 games, isn't it? Aye, there's a lot of teams that will be fancying themselves to be up and about it, so hopefully we can just get off to a flying start and not look back.